Oh, okay. So I thought originally I was going to do this video and about a year ago, maybe over a year ago, I did my 13 favorite fish songs and you know, why 13? Because 10, it was just too hard. I couldn't stop on 10. I had to extend it to my 13 favorite. And really, uh, and you know, that is always changing. I don't know about for you, but it's always changing for me. Uh, not only my favorite songs overall, like 10, 15, whatever, my number one song sometimes is changing. So I looked back and actually that list has held up pretty well for me here, uh, you know, a year or so later. Maybe Karini might fall out of my top 13 right now and perhaps Stash would go into my top 13 right now. And again, you know, this is a little bit overall. It's not just necessarily live, not necessarily the album. It's just like anytime, anywhere, any place I could listen to this and be happy. Any version, basically. That's how I decide what are my favorite songs. You know, it's hard. You know, it's, it's tough to say. That's also why it's always changing. So we'll just go right now 14 through 25. And maybe I'll continue this with 26 through whatever, all the way up to 100, maybe. All right. So at 14, I mentioned Stash. And perhaps based on this summer, it did have a really good summer. And I've always been a Stash fan. I like Stash, but I don't know. This might be the highest it's ever been after this strong summer. Although early on in my fish listening career, you know, a lot of 95 Stash was strong. So, okay, there we got Stash at 14. We got Fluffhead at 15. Another one kind of surprised that that did not make my top 13. Honestly, a little surprised. Maybe even a little low at this point for my even my own list here I'm arguing with already. 15 for Fluffhead. Harry Hood following that up. Again, another one. A little bit surprised, but it's tough. They just got so many great songs. And I felt like, man, I am really kind of just biased towards the old stuff. Not a lot of new stuff in here. But, you know, it's just hard to deny how great that old stuff was. You know, eventually we'll hit a number, whatever number that is, you know, 36 through 50 or something. Your Martian Monsters and things like that, 555 might start. And I should also mention some uh, honorable mention here before we go on. Gumbo, My Friend, My Friend, and Destiny Unbound did not make the cut this time. I could have just went on to my top 28, I suppose. So anyhow, where were we? Hood at 16. We got Stash, Fluffhead, Hood, 14, 15, and 16. Now we are on to Maze. At a time, believe it or not, Maze was probably my favorite fish song. It was when I was real into Summer of 94. I mean, Red Rocks 94 and others. Uh, Jul several July and 94s. A lot of 94 and 95 Maze. <clears throat> so that was what I was listening to a lot. That's what it was probably my number one song. That fish had in their uh, bag of tricks. So 17 maize, 18 taste. I don't know how most, I think, I, I feel like taste would probably be up there for a lot of people. Maybe uh, others not. There might be times, you know, maybe I'll look back on this in a year and be like, eh, maybe not taste. But I don't know. I feel like it's always kind of consistently been one of my favorites. Had a good summer itself, speaking of songs like that. And then I put Mike's and Weekapog together at number eight. After 18 taste, I got Mike's and Weekapog at 19. Had to put those together, really. If I had to choose one, I guess I would choose Weekapog. But then the minute I think that, it's like, well, we're going to live without mics? I don't want to live in that world without mics. So we got mics and Weekapog together in 19. Tube coming in at number 20. Perhaps Tube has seen its heyday. You know, every now and then we still get a big one. In fact, I believe this summer we did. Tube, you know, a lot of times even a, uh, maybe what, a, a late setter. That could go a little bit anywhere, actually. Versatility, great live, cool song. Tube, number 20. 21, we got theme from the bottom. You know, and, and again, I feel like this is a, a bit of a theme here. Songs that had great summers. Maybe that's why they're up here. So fresh on the mind, perhaps. But again, a theme from the bottom would be a song that consistently I have liked. And uh, Run Like an Antelope, following that up at 22. Kind of felt, well, felt a little harsh having Run Like an Antelope. We're getting Hall of Fame songs at number 22 here. Wilson, the one song on the list that I will admit, you could be like, come on, man, isn't Wilson a chomper? No, it is not. You might, you could go ahead and say that. Me, however, I'm saying Wilson's a legend. Early, you know, it's hard to say some of that real, really OG stuff. It was, it was hard to say, call any of that chomper material. And then at 24 and 25, two songs that may not have cracked my top 24 and 25, but it's kind of hard to deny that this is a live band and without down with disease at 24 and down with and tweezer at 25 this is not the same band so you got to have down with disease and tweezer in your top 24 25 even if you don't really think hey man those are my 20 yeah they are <clears throat> i would say no top 25 would be 
I mean, it's just going to be a weird list if those aren't. Because, I mean, it just... Yeah, they are. You know, I'm sitting here wondering, well, yeah. I mean, just pick a down with disease jam. It's probably pretty good. You could almost say the same thing with tweezer. You know, there was a time there when they backed off slightly on tweezer, maybe. Maybe right as we led into 2020. Early on in 21, maybe even. Maybe it was just in 19. I don't know. There was a time when they had kind of backed off on tweezer. It wasn't just the big monster every time. But, I mean, it has been a long time since they backed off on Down With Disease. So, you got to have those two in there. So, let's recap quickly. 14 through 25. Stash, Fluffhead, Hood, Maze, Taste. 19, we got Mikes and Weekabog. 20, we got Tube. Theme, Antelope, Wilson. And then Down With Disease, 24, 25. Gumbo, my friend, my friend. Destiny Unbound. Oh, they almost made the list. I guess I would go my friend 26, Destiny 27, Gumbo 28. But that's another list for a number day. Number day? All right, guys. I will include the... Uh, I've been up since 4.30. You saw the... Uh, maybe you did. Well, maybe you did. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't think you saw the New Year's Eve video. But if you did, it was 4.30 a.m. I'm still awake. Yeah, it's only like 8 p.m. It's not that bad. <laughs> or is it? Boom. We're out of here.